What's up collectors? Today we have a bit of a mail day video. Been mostly doing TTM videos, so not much ripping and not much just showing off of pickups other than a few cards here and there. Um, so this one's gonna be just pickups right now. Uh, but I'll start off with a uh, friend mail from Bud Stoney. Um, if you're not subbed to Bud, go check him out. Super creative guy, super nice guy. Was kind of the first guy who really reached out when I got into this whole uh, YouTube community. So, um, you know, if you're not subbed, go check him out. Really solid dude. But we've sent a few things back and forth, and he knows I like vintage. Uh, so he sent me these two cards, Ken Harrelson and Sparky Lyle. Really cool ones. Really crisp looking cards. 69s. Love that set. Uh, and I think I know Sparky signs and I'm pretty sure I just looked up Ken seems to sign too so I'm uh, gonna send those out for some ink Sparky without the mustache looks like a young guy right there so bud you're the man appreciate you thank you so much it, guys if you're not sub to bud go check them out the next thing we got I picked up a huge lot of cards off eBay and it was kind of a shot in the dark I think it ended up being about 34 bucks shipped and it was really only one picture. So um, I, I knew it was filled with a bunch of 70 cards. The person kind of listed out what cards were from each set, um, but still a bit of a shot in the dark. So all the cards in the background, uh, vintage from about 74 to 80, that's really what I got it for. But I'm gonna start with just the extras that were thrown in that made, I think this a pretty good buy. So, um, you know, Leaf, I think this is series 291 uh you know seven unopened packs not you know the most sought after set but uh, as an extra i'll always take some packs uh, and i actually think it, it's not the worst set it would look pretty good signed um I'll show you some extras some more leaf cards bobby witt i'm not gonna run through all of these but you know, a, a pretty decent stack of leaf. Um, I kind of think they're underrated. They're simple, but I enjoy them. So um, probably some TTM guys there, I'm sure. Some more leaf. I remember this set. Some decent players too, like Bo Jackson, Greg Maddox, Ozzy. I remember this set being around when I was a kid. Uh, what else did we get? We got some Fleer. This was 95, you know, I was starting to get out, not of the whole hobby, but at that point in my career as a card collector, I had transitioned mostly to basketball and football. Uh, some stadium club, so I actually enjoyed these. These were, I think it must be mid nineties or something. What is it? We got 95, so some decent looking cards. I'm mostly, a, a, you know, a tops guy for setting out. I've been trying to TTM mostly top stuff, but you know, for some of these players who I might not have extra cards or a whole ton of cards of, you know, I would definitely send out some stadium club. So cool fuel there. Um, we got some, a whole bunch of 91 Don Russ, Bo Jackson. All of these are in pretty good shape too. Bly 11 Morris. So some stars. You know, so that will be some decent fuel, some extra cards in there. Um, some really crisp 89 Donruss, or excuse me, upper deck. Uh, again, simple set. There wasn't any uh, Ken Griffey Jr. rookies hiding out in here, but wasn't expecting it. Um, so again, I'm not going to go through them, but as far as extra cards to toss in, great ones. Got a small stack of... Bowman, love this set. Tons of great rookies. I opened a lot of this as a kid and have some good rookies to show for it. Uh, 93 Donruss, have a ton of this as well. So just some solid fuel. Um, and I really count all this stuff as just bonus stuff. This, uh, you know, this I definitely never saw. I would say this is probably mid to late 90s Paul Molitor, Bagwell, Roland you know some interesting looking cards Conseco 
Bichette Sr., Dwight Gooden. So just some stuff I never really collected or seen before. Got some Pinnacle 95, Lee Smith, Rocket, Mr. Kenny Lofton. All right, I'm gonna run through these last couple stacks. This side, I don't even know what this is. Some tops thing, it's kind of, it's raised. Never seen those before, thought they were kind of cool. Probably not great for TTMing. Uh, what else, we got some 92 Donruss. Had a decent amount of this as a kid, but not really one of my favorite designs. And I think this is the newest. I think this is early 2000s, perhaps. 2009, actually. Uh, there's a chipper. Looks like Upper Deck Signature Stars. Chipper, shout out Adam's Card Closet. Zambrano. Dice Gay. Like, those would look pretty good with a, a signature on there. I haven't really got into these newer guys, because I don't think as many are signing. There's a nice Pedroia. Um, but you know, down the road, I could see a nice signature on one of those. All right, let's get into the slightly more vintage stuff. Uh, got a stack of 88. You know, I, I wasn't really into 88, but I've lately been sending a bunch out and I do enjoy it. There's a Balboni, just got that one back signed. Um, so I, I do have a complete set of the 88, so that wasn't too interesting for me, but you know, it some of them are if it's always good to have doubles because i'll send the best one out uh, i enjoyed this because it was 86 which i also have a complete set but this is all the the tops traded so um i think i'm sure some of these guys sign let me know if you see anybody i'll run through them quickly look at that easler and rob deer shout out baseball card illustrated We don't have to look at all of them. Um, I got some 84 Donruss. So like I said, mostly Tops guy, but um, I do like the 84 Donruss. I think it's kind of an interesting design. Dave Kingman, I literally just sent him a letter. Dave Winfield, Willie McGee. No Mattingly rookies hiding out in here, but um, still, you know, oops, there goes one. I recognize people just from your videos and from looking through TTM lists. Like I know some of these guys signed for sure. So Gary Lucas got him back. Shatsitter, I'm pretty sure he signs. Dotson I got back. Like I would have liked to send this out. So I'm just, I'm picking up some of these extras. Like Dotson doesn't have that many cards, I don't believe. All right, let's start on some of the vintage. I guess we'll go newest to oldest. Um, 80s, tops 1980. Um, I don't have a lot of, I have most of the 80 sets, but 80s one I don't. So like, look at that. What a great vintage card. Gary Maddox. Um, so even I think all of these from the 74s to the 80s, I got about 250 of them. Um, and for 30 bucks, I think that the cost per card is somewhere around 15 cents if my math is right. Uh, so I'll take these sets for 15 cents a card all day long. And then to have all of these extras added in, um, you know, to me it seemed like a pretty good deal, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. I've been seeing a lot of you guys um, these are 79s, I believe. Yeah, 79. A lot of you guys I, I watch seem to be kind of starting to hunt out these 70s sets. Um, and, it, you know, it's got me a little inspired. So I, I'm doing kind of a combo of Bucky Dent. Um, set building, I always enjoy set building, but uh, also TTMing with them. So somewhere in between. But for 10, 15 cents a card, it's much cheaper than going to like Beckett Marketplace and spending 50 cents a pop on them if, if you can get a big lot like this. Prospects like those cards. 
Rick Miller, I know he signs. Billy Allman, I sent him out. Look at those specs. So no, you know, some okay stars. None of the big boy cards out of these, but um, some decent ones. This uh, Bill Campbell looked interesting because it, it almost looks like it was signed already. Let me know what you think. That faint pen in the background almost looks like that's an auto on uh, Campbell. Bill Stein, got him back recently, or sent him out. No, I got him back recently. Rick Miller, he signs. Got Gary back recently. Rich Hebner, I know he signs. Doug Bird, got him back. Some of these 76s. These are from the traded set. Good old Doc Ellis. Bucky Dent. I think this set's really growing on me, this 76. I think they look pretty cool. Bob Montgomery, I know he signs. Dick Pohl. I think he signs, maybe. Or he just has a sweet name. All right, two more piles. I know this is probably not the most exciting video, but uh, you know, it's fun to look at them sometimes. Some 75s. These ones are in slightly rougher condition. I'm not as much of a fan. Like I might just mostly set build 75 because I like them, but um, something about sending out TTMs where there's a facsimile already, I don't love it as much. So if you notice, I tend to send out sets for TTMs that don't have facsimiles. And 74s, I, I really like 74. Um, so some, you know, decent looking cards. I wouldn't say they're you know, in mint condition, soft corners, not all of them are cut well, like that's definitely off center. Um, but they're not creased for the most part. All right, yeah, so let me know what you think. At, at 15 cents a card, I think it's a pretty decent deal. We got a few more, these were just some randoms in there. I was just showing off a Hank Aaron from these uh, TCMA sets, and we got two more, Joe Judge and Sam Rice, one of these Ted Williams sets from the, uh, I think it's Elston Howard. Not sure where this Reggie's from. Looks like some sort of puzzle. George Brett, Gaylord Perry, Fleer, random 85, Oda B. McDowell. I think that's maybe 83. Dave Parker, Jack Morris, Don Mattingly, Pete Rose. I'm not sure where that's from. This one made me laugh. That looks like, shout out Shane from Oddball Cards. That looks like with his bandana, the No Fear bandana. Mr. Drabeck looks like he belongs in the Oddball gal Gallery. Um, Save this one because I've been thinking about sending to Hawk, um, but was thinking about getting him on a Red Sox card, so this stadium club looks decent. Thought that was kind of just a unique one. Bow on the like a navy aircraft carrier, maybe. Some Canerco rookies, but I think his true rookie's really in '94. But thought I'd save those. As a Red Sox fan growing up in the '90s, you gotta love Mo. Got two rated rookies, and this Viscal, which I think he'll make the hall, the hall of fame one day. So a pretty sharp looking rookie from '89. I put that one aside. All right, guys, let me know what you think. I'm sorry this one ran a little long. Shout out to Bud Stoney for the friend mail. Thank you, sir. These are awesome. Guys, let me know what you think of this purchase. I think it was 
34 bucks. It's definitely over a thousand cards and about, you know, 250 ish to 300 from the 70s to 1980. Um, definitely some decent TTM fuel. If you saw some signers in there, let me know. All right. Appreciate you guys watching. Thanks.